Hello people, today we're going to take a look at, uh, again, some cards. Uh, we're going to see what, where my latest investment in the fucking world. And uh, I don't know if I want you to look at my face, which is, I mean, it's not that bad, is it? Uh, or actually flip you around and uh, have you looking at the cards. I guess we're going to do it this way. Uh, but you guys let me know if you want me to just flip you around the next time. And uh, you, you guys just focus on the, the boxes or singers or whatever it's going to be, um, as I think it might be. Maybe more interesting. I don't know. You guys let me know, please, down in the comments. Uh, so without wasting too much time, what we're going to do is we're going to show you what I bought, what price I bought it at, where I bought it. I bought it from the TCG Market uh, IT. I will leave you the link. Um, he's uh, he's always hooks me up with. Uh, he's got a, a supplier in uh, Japan. He looks and he hooked me up with um, pretty good market prices, considering especially considering I only like to pay for one shipping. And um, we're going to most importantly we're going to take a look at the data. So see. The number of boxes, how they evolve in time using the data that I have available via the bot, uh, which is for free, um, available on the Discord, and you can just join uh, the link is down below. So, uh, what do we get? So, so let's get start with the newest set, and that is Super Electric Breaker. So I, I just got one of these uh, because uh, I just wanted it. Um, so right actually today it, it's available again on Amazon JP, so you can buy it and I, you can actually have it shipped. Um, in the EU, which is pretty cool, and uh, probably paid 55 for this, which is pretty much around market pri uh, market price. And um, I'll look. Let's take a look at uh, supply data. So supply data. I'm looking at it. Um, so, hey guys, so I can have you. I love you. Pop it up as usual. Oh uh, yeah, 300 ish, 50 boxes. Um, it's been bouncing around for the past what? Past two weeks between 400, 500. And now below 340. Uh, people like it. People buy it. Um, but it's not not. This is not the juice of peak investment. We, this is just uh, me being a kid uh, and having a disease and want addiction and uh, wanting to to spend 50 euros. Um, so the next one, which is similar similar argument, Paradise Dragona. Uh, I do think this is stronger than this as this mainly has the Latias and the Latias. Yes, that's much more. Uh, but let's be real. Pikachu, Militech, Milotic, and um, High Dragon alone are uh, bangers. So let's be real. And Paradise Dragon, as you can see, similar argument for when it comes to supply. A bit more of uh, this set has also been out for longer. Uh, but still, I think I paid 45 for this. And um, yeah, this is, uh, these combined, are the juice, but uh, I would still rank this as probably one of the best main sets in the SNV era. Yeah, I think I would. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, these are just uh, me being, uh, yeah, me wanting to spend some money. Now, the juice, let's get started with, uh, let's go with the newest. So I didn't, I buy one, I bought one, two, three, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Four and five. Hello. Uh, Shiny Treasures EX boxes. Uh, 40. These were 40, which is uh, actually right now it's uh, a great price as market price is pretty much 42. So let's pull up the data and let's look, like, look at it together. Okay, so one very interesting thing. So you know what's going on with Baldeum Fates. If you don't, uh, you probably would. I mean, you probably do. Uh, but if you don't, I made a video about it two weeks ago, maybe you can go watch that. I'll link you to it. Um, where I looked at data as usual, I like to look at data on like, um, I like talking, I like making videos, and I also like to look at data as uh, I'm probably one of the only YouTubers who looks at data. Um, and I own the data, which is, I don't think other YouTubers do own the data. Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Uh, so, so if you don't see me, if you if you see me, if you don't see me posting anymore, you know where I am, behind bars. So um, as you can see, it went from 1,400 boxes in what July to now let almost half below 800. People like it. Why people like it? Because it's cheap. As you can see, it went from f pretty much 35 euros to now 40. You can find a, a decent supply at 42 now, and it's getting drying up by the day as we're speaking um so getting five of these at 40 is a good deal i wanted to buy more but i also like money so and i cannot spend everything on money otherwise i'm gonna get in trouble 
um, yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Um, but um, five boxes is good. At 40 euros, I should have probably bought more, but there's gonna be more coming to it. I mean, I'll have to say more about that, so stay tuned. The next ones, now back into the Sold and Shield era. I bought two Pattern Trigger. Now, these were 55, which is again, it's a great price, market price. Uh, now, this has a sticker, but there's the reason why. This one on your uh, right is a first print. This one is a reprint. You can tell by the strip. This one has a strip, the same as uh, SV boxes. This one doesn't. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't, it, yeah, I don't think it makes a difference in price, uh, but I still think it's pretty cool. 55 euros, a great deal. I now have four of these, which I pretty much bought for a f an average of 40, 52 euros. Um, I think it's at that price, it's a great purchase. As a set, there's some better, like potentially this could even be a better investment. I could, we could talk about it for a probably hours so I but I don't want to make this video so long but uh, at this price point I'm happy to buy and like 100 I wouldn't be buying it but obviously I'm hoping that uh, a couple of years down the line someone will want to buy this at 100 that's obviously what I'm uh, betting on and uh, let's look at uh, the numbers so looking at the numbers this has been bouncing around 250 uh, boxes for uh, six months so what between 250 and 350 so that what that tells me is um people like it and there's a good balance between supply and demand once demand sorry once the supply diminishes drastically this is going to go up um and we are seeing it now uh, if you look at market death which i will not show you the data i also have i i have many things i'm a man of many talents um but I don't have money, so, um, but that'll change. Um, but that's not the point. The point is, um, yeah, I am forecasting it to move soon. And what I forecast it to move sooner than everything else is, are these guys, it's this, this set. Now, as you can probably tell, this is not shrinked. And I have a question about that for you. So. Again, the DC market, great guy. Uh, we we talked regularly. I trust him. There was a miscommunication. It forgot to. It thought he told me it, they were not shrinked. So you have to refund. I bought these for eighty five. Now eighty five each. Um, shrink, good price. I bought them where they were when we, they were eighty five in the U. Right now they're one hundred. They jumped to eighty five to one hundred in a matter of ten days. And I forecasted that I made a video on it. I talked about it and uh, I'll link you the video. The video. It's uh, my investments for uh, October where I bought one box of Paradigm. Uh, sorry, two boxes of Paradigm Trigger and one box of Lost Abyss shrinked. And uh, I did look at the data and I, I lied in how it's going to be a matter of, was it was going to be a matter of days. Now, if you look at data now supply, it's gone from, uh, you know, the 250, 300 and it's it kept on moving lower. It's now at 150, and you see what happened to price. Um, and that's what I'm forecasting for pattern trigger. Um, now, these are obviously reprints. So we're talking about with Bass House. He said that you can kind of pull this side and uh, slip the packs out, maybe exchange them with other packs. Now I trust TG Market IT. I trust I trust the guy. I don't know if it, we should trust the Japanese seller you bought them from. Um, and also, I feel like it's going to be harder to sell them in the future. So you have to refund. Let me know what you guys think. Should I just keep them? I mean, if you guys want to buy the packs for a, a stream, I'll be more than happy. Um, I feel like these are great for opening now. Uh, but obviously, they, the idea was to keep them um, as an investment. Um, so I would maybe I will try to trade them for some uh, shiny treasures, paradigm, or something else. Um, also, uh, still with this G market, he, he obviously, as soon as he realized it, he forgot to mention it. He said, uh, immediately said he was gonna refund me. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I always kind of think. So as you can see, summing up, this I was pretty bullish. That's why I bought it at 85 and it jumped to 100 in a matter of, which is basically 20% in a matter of 10 days. So it was 100 before I got it. Uh, this I'm pretty bullish because of the price point. I can see growth, even a nice amount of growth, 50% even uh, in a short matter of time, um, especially the way, where Pokemon stands. This also I can see, it, it basically, I, I see growth because of supply, because of what's happening with supply. If you look at Rudy, Rudy says all the time, guys, look at supply, don't look at, look at price, don't look at price, look at supply. Supply will detect where price is going to go next. The problem is looking at supply, it's very, um, it's not easy because you don't have the data. I mean, you, you, you don't have someone that tells you every day how many boxes are of a certain product. Whereas, because I'm a genius, uh, God, uh, whereas I do because, uh, because I just have the ability to, to extract, um, that information. Um, and I know what to do with that information. And what I did is I bought them. Um, so it, I made this play, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of what I want to buy and when I want to buy it. I know the data t suggests that if I'm correct, this is probably the best time because a jump in price to the upside is due soon. That's why I bought it now. I like timing because when you don't have a large amount of money available, timing is very important. Um, so unlike what people say, oh, but just buy one of each, just buy boxes when they release, blah, blah, blah. Yes, but bef on average, before they move up, you're gonna be sitting on it for some, quite some time. So unless you buy them for a great price, I think one good strategy, if you can, if you have the ability to, or at least you want to give a, an honest attempt uh, at it, timing. Now it's not easy, I can be wrong, but I'm pretty confident in my decision because of the data, what the data tells me, especially with with, with this, basically half the supply. Uh, I, I mean, there's plenty of it in Japan, there's plenty of it around the world, but uh, what happens in the U is a good reflection of what's happening in Japan. At least uh, that's what I think. Um, and again, these two were just, uh, I want to spend some money. Um, that being said, let me, know, let me know about those bits. Let me know if you want me to next time just fil film the cards, not uh, my pretty face. And um, if you enjoy the content, I'll appreciate if you subscribe. I'll see you in the description if you want to have a chat. And uh, thank you for watching.